Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we will learn about transverso corresponding angles, alternate interior and exterior angles, and consecutive interior angles. It's very, very important concept for geometry in uh, SAT math test prep. Uh, this concept is for SAT math uh, geometry part. So let's see here, uh, we will start with transversal. So if you will check any two lines we have, it doesn't matter they are parallel or they are not parallel. And we have a third line, it's intersecting. See third line is intersecting these two lines that go transversal. And here we have line one, line two. So this go transversal. Now let's talk about if we have parallel lines and we have we have parallel lines. Let's say we have two lines, they are parallel. And we have one line is intersecting. So this is transversal. And we have line one and line two, they are parallel lines. So, so this symbol is for parallel lines. So this generate four angles here. So we have angle one, angle two, three, four. And four angles we have in bottom here. We can see here we have five, six, seven, and eight. So if we have two parallel lines and one transversal line, that means it's intersecting these two parallel lines, it will generate eight angles. So now we will learn about corresponding angle. First thing we will talk about corresponding angle. What is corresponding angles is, if I will take these four angles, see we have these four angles here, and I will replace these four angles, or you can say X, see we have cross over there, you will replace right here, what angle it will come up with here. So see this angle, if you will replace here, it will become five here. In two, it will come on plus six, four will come on eight, and three will come here. So angle one and five, those are corresponding angle. Angle one and five. You can say angle four and angle eight. Those are corresponding. Two, see we have two and six. Also you have, you will memorize. It's very simple way you can memorize. So how I remember is top, top and bottom, bottom, okay? Those are corresponding angle. So we have two and then we have three and we have angle eight. No, three and seven. So these are corresponding angle. So this corresponding angle, they are congruent, or we can say same measure. So in between, we can say here, these are congruent angles. So very simple, you can memorize. See, we have top and top. They are same measure. So you can see here, right? Uh, th those are corresponding angles. You can see here one and five, top, top. Those are corresponding angle. Now we will see bottom, bottom. See, we have bottom and bottom, four and eight. They are corresponding angle. We can see other one, other pair we have here three, which is in bottom, here is bottom. So three and seven, they are corresponding angle. All right, so let's see here, that is corresponding angle. Next one, we will talk about inter uh, alternate interior angle. So we have parallel line again. So we have line one and line two, they are parallel. And we have transversal, 
line here D. So what is interior angle? That means in inside two parallel lines, whatever angle generate, that call interior angle. So we will see here angle one and angle two. See, it's inside this parallel lines. And we have angle three and four. These are interior angle. So now we will talk about alternate interior angles. So one is on left hand side and one is on right hand side. So let's make a pair here, alternate interior angle. So we can say angle one and angle three. Those are congruent also. If we have alternate integer angle, those are alternate uh, congruent. If I have angle one is 60, then angle three must be 60. Another pair of alternate integer angle, we will get angle four and angle two. So those are integer. Uh, alternate interior angle. Now we will talk about um, exterior on alternate angles. So again we have line one, line two, and then we have transversal T. So these lines are parallel. Now exterior, so what means of exterior here we have two parallel lines, whatever outside of uh, two parallel lines, those are exterior angle. And we will talk about alternate exterior angle. So see this angle here, let's say we have uh, uh, five, six, seven, and eight. So these four angles, those are exterior angle. If you will take alternate sides, that means we have alternate exterior angle. So we have angle, so let's make a list, alternate exterior angle. So we have angle five, and so we have on left hand side five, so another side we have is seven and those must be congruent as well. And another pair we will get is six and eight. So these are alternate exterior angle. And next one we will get is uh, consecutive angles. So we will take again parallel lines. and we will take transversal. So these lines are parallel, line one and line two. So if we have both, they are inside this angle and they are both on one side, those are consecutive angles. So let's say we have angle one, angle two, you can say three and four. So we will make a pair consecutive, uh, consecutive interior angle. Consecutive interior angle. So here we will get pair is angle one and angle two. But in this case, we will not get congruent angle. Sum must be 180. Those are supplement angle. So we can say here angle one and angle two must be 180. Measure of angle one and measure of angle two is 180. And second pair we can take here measure of angle three and measure of angle four must be 180. So here we will get two supplement angle. So these are consecutive interior angle. 
All right, so now also you can see here, we have here, we can talk about consecutive exterior angle. Consecutive exterior angle. So again, exterior angle, that means outside of these two parallel lines. And we had to make sure both must be on same side. So let's say here we have angle five and angle six. So same rule we will get those sum must be 180. So measure of angle five plus measure of angle six must be 180. Same thing you can take on other side. Let's say we have angle seven and eight here. So measure of angle seven plus measure of angle eight is 180. All right, so if you will take here, so here is the rule, when you will get 180, when you will take, when you will take corresponding angle, one side of transversal, those will give you 180. If you will take alternate, those are congruent angle. So now let's take example here. We will take example. So if we will check, here we have two parallel lines and we have transversal. So this is parallel line, line one, line two, and here is transversal. All right, so if I will give you, if we will check in whole thing, we have only two angle measure. Okay, so here we can see here, we have, we have this angle is let's say 60, right? So we need to find all these eight angles, how we will find it. So first thing I can see that is cross, that is X. In previous video, we learned about vertical angles. So right away I can see here that is 60. Next thing I can see, look at this here, we have straight line. Right, we have straight line. So that is 60, 180 minus 60 is 120. So now these two are vertical angles, so we have 120, okay. So now what we need to remember, top, top, same measure, bottom, bottom, same measure, same side, okay. So we have 120, see one top, of this parallel line. So this must be 120 here. 60 is in bottom, so that is 60. Here is 60, bottom is 120, All right? So this is uh, angle, how we can find it. Also, you can see we have corresponding angle. Look at this, corresponding interior angle, sum must be 180. Also, same thing you can see here, we have corresponding exterior angle that sum must be 180 also so here we found that and alternate interior angle you can see here we have 60 and 60 here alternate interior another pair we have 120 and 120 so simple thing you need to remember top top bottom bottom corresponding angle sum is 180 in alternate interior or alternate exterior must be same measure, all right? Uh, I hope this will help you to better understanding about interior and exterior angle, and it will help you to memorize all these rules, okay? Thank you very much for watching this video. Good luck, and you can use this strategy for SAT math test prep.